how to add discounts on prepaid orders in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a button containing a discount offer on your Shopify store. It is very easy, very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do right here is to go ahead to your Shopify store. Then we are going simply to sign into our account. Once you have signed in, you will see this admin dashboard. Onto the admin dashboard, the first thing that you need to do is to create the discount. Let's go ahead to the left side menu, click on discounts, and here it will show up all the discounts that we have created before. Now, in my case, I am going to create a new discount. Simply click on create discounts. Here we have multiple options. We have amount of products, buy X, get Y. This is for, for example, you are going to put or uh, sell a stock. Uh, if someone buys two products from uh, category A, let's set it as an example, they will get, for example, a category B, which is, for example, a t-shirt for free. It is a discount products based on a customer purchase. And you can go ahead and put an amount of order. This is a order discount and this is a product discount. And finally, we have the first option, which is the free shipping. You can go ahead and offer free shipping on an order for the customers. Now I am going simply to put a discount on the order. Let's say here that we are going to put that click on add it. Now we have the discount code or automatic discount. If you put the automatic discount, when they click, for example, for uh, buy here, it will show up right there or buy now, for example, it will automatically apply the discount when the customers see the checkout. If not, they will be right there, go into the discount and put the code by themselves. Let's say that we are going to add it automatically. Here we are going to put the title. I am going to put, for example, 30 off, or let's say that I'm going to put only 15 off like that or like this. And here we have the discount value. You can go ahead and put a percentage off or a fixed amount. In my case, I am simply going to put a percentage, which is 15% as the title mentioned. Here we have the purchase type. You are going to set here one of these three options. One time purchase, subscription, or both. I'm going simply to put one time purchase because I don't have uh, some subscriptions in my store yet. Now we have to set the availability. This discount is automatically applied to all sales channels. Also over uh, on point of sale, this is up to you if you have a point of sale. In my case, I don't have, so I will not check this box. The minimum purchase requirements here, you have to put it or set whatever you want. In my case, I will let it zero. And here we have the minimum quantity of items. You can go ahead and set it or let it right here. Now we have the combinations. For combinations, the code can be combined with product discounts, order discounts, or shipping discounts. I'm going to simply to check the order or the product discounts and also the order discounts. When you finish this, here we have the active dates. You can set a start and end and date to the uh, bonus or the discount that you have made also. For example, I'm going to let it right here run until we are going to put right here midnight, let's say midnight, and the code will start right there. I'm going to put the hour right there. Let's say that we have set it at 8 p.m. When you finish this, click simply on save discount. Here we have something minimum purchase. Where's the minimum purchase? I'm going to put zero. Now we have this one. I'm going simply to put one dollar like that to let it let me free from this page. Here we have the 15 off discount. Now we are going simply to the products. Let's go ahead and select the product that we are going to set this for. Let's say that the quantity is one. 
and the t-shirt or a heated i'm going to select that product or this sweat click on view i will see that product on my page and i will simply go ahead and click on add to cart when you click to add to cart you have to make sure that everything is right and you add the right object to that cart this is a broad method it is not uh, customized or something because there is a method that will demand a code to custom the uh, add to cart button or buy now button but here i am going to make it much simpler for you guys to uh, follow these steps right there now we have the uh, cart make sure to let the only one item here we have the quantity put only one item right here click on checkout and then we have the checkout right there we have the checkout link that we are going to copy go back right there to the shopify store click on home and let everything see here go back to the online store right there click on customize and let the editor load up now we are going to see the product to see that product simply we are going to uh, right here i'm going to see the categories let's say right now that we are going to see that or the collection or the catalog let's say that we are going to see any product i'm going to select any product that we have right there simply i'm going to change the preview from here and let's load up our this product i have loaded that product simply we are going to let this open now we are going to use a third party app called elfsite elfsite is a widget creator you can go ahead and create some widgets or some buttons for your shopify store or any website that you have to do that all you have to do is to go to elfsite.com sign in for an account and then we are going to the website and create a button simply click on create a button right here i have reached the limit within the pre-plan i have deleted that button or that widget click on create a widget now let's go ahead right here to the templates i'm going to create a widget right there we have the uh, options to go ahead and select in my case it has uh, chosen the button template now let's go to the templates and see what we have here we click on templates and it will show you the list of templates that we need simply right there on the search bar type button button like that i'm having some issues with the writing and here we have the button we have the list of buttons that you can go ahead and create choose a button from here simply and put it in action i'm going to select this one because i like this this is the shape uh, that i want to add click on this one it is named follow on facebook the label doesn't matter since we are going to change it now we have the action link to page i'm simply going to put a link to page and that link should be that checkout or that set checkout link for only one product Get right here click on link and the label i am simply going to put here get 15 for example percent like that of buying this item for example on prepaid or get off by like that 15 percent off paying online like that and here we have it uh, now for the icon you can add a icon for example you can choose from the library you have here a lot of icons you can go ahead and put this coupon like this this is much appealing and for additional information you can add a second line and also for the design you can go ahead and select the button color like that this or that one for example you can make it like this red is very appealing 
And for the style of the button, you can go ahead and put the style of your choice. I'm going with this one. And here we have the button size. You can make it smaller, bigger, and whatever you want. And finally, we have the position. You can go ahead and put it in bed, or you can go ahead and put it floating. When you put it floating, simply click on the, the position. And here we have the positions that you are going to put that button on. I'm simply going to put it right here on the side and put the horizontal offset like that to make it appear like this and simply click on create widget. Our widget is ready and we are simply going to be uh, adding that widget to our store. Here we have it, click on install and as you can see we have an embed code. Click on copy code, go back to your Shopify store. Here we have the product that we have set already. Now, simply I am going to add it. To add this option or this button, go ahead and scroll down until you see the template and add a block. Click on add a block, click on custom liquid. It will add a block on a random place. Then simply you are going to select that custom liquid. It will pop up a code window Paste that code right there. It will appear in a few seconds. Click on save and here we have the floating product or the floating right here. You can see here it will show right there get 15% off buying online. You click on it and it will take you to the checkout directly. And here we have the product. I'm simply going to apply the code for example. You can go ahead and put this uh, product code. The button was scheduled. So the summary, as you can see here, it is now activated. It was like this. When you select that, I didn't pay attention for that. It, it, is, it was scheduled. So I am simply going to put that right here. I'm going to put the time as the actual time that I have. Simply go back right there and refresh the page multiple times until you see it active. When you see the bottom active, you are going to go ahead to the checkout again and see the status of the code or the discount is active. Now, let's go back to the product. As you can see here, we have the product page. Click on get that 15 off paying online. And here we have the 15 off coupon applied. And here we have it. It is, it was deducted from the total price. And here we go. That was very simple and very easy. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.